the server suggests that all guests would try the homemade chocolate fudge cake. Now, when I first, when I read this, and I have the word would here, when I see the server suggests that all guests would try the homemade chocolate fudge cake, I'm expecting, a, well, under what conditions would they, would they try? So I'm expecting to see something would try the, the homemade chocolate fudge cake if such and such happened. But that's not what they're telling us. What we're really saying is that the server suggests that guests try the homemade chocolate fudge cake. So I, don't, I definitely don't want to keep it the way it is. If, if we said tried, then that would be the past tense. The server suggests that all guests tried the homemade chocolate fudge cake. Now, th that would imply that the server is suggesting that in the past, all the guests had tried the homemade chocolate fudge cake. But that's not, that's not the intent of the sentence. He's, the server is suggesting that people try the homemade chocolate fudge cake. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And I keep saying it, and we see that that's choice three. The server suggests that all guests try the homemade chocolate fudge cake. This is exactly what we want. The server is making a suggestion. It's not a conditional. It's not something in the past. And then we can rule out this last one, will try. This is, this is kind of the server. If, if we replace it, will try, this would be the server predicting something about the future, which isn't the intent of this sentence. The server suggests that all guests will try the homemade chocolate fudge cake. So I think this one is off too. So definitely like that choice.